Hi, this is DOSBOX Mom and Lost in Blue, and welcome back to Let's Play King of Dragon Pass. We've decided to attempt the Chalada Aroy Heals the Scars quest. It might help us to make peace with a neighbor. Yeah. Do we want to ask the Nari to help since they're the only neighbors that they suggest? Mm -hmm. The people have gathered their magic to help propel Aran Sanda into the realm of the gods with the assistance of 30 Nari. This myth begins during the war between Orlanth and the followers of the evil emperor called Yel. It tells how Chalana Aroy conducted four great healings. What benefit does Aran Sanda seek from this hero quest? Heal a rift within the clan. Oh, well, see, that could help our our farmers feel happier. Um, heal the wounded, make peace with enemy clans, make the quester wiser, make healing easier in the future, heal the sick. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll try making peace with enemy clans first. Aran Sanda arrives in a strange place. A shattered palace full of wounded foreigners. Chilada, who calls, they cry. At last, you're here. The evil storm barbarians have not only slain glorious Yelm, they wounded many of us. They killed others with this new weapon of theirs. We wounded and killed some of them too, but we need help if we're to survive. Yep, that's what the hint suggests. She successfully healed the foreign people. She sealed their wounds and gave them hope. One of the foreigners blocks our Sanda's way when she prepares to leave the palace. I will not allow you to go and heal our enemies. They slew our king and must be destroyed. You must be on our side or no side at all. Turn back or I'll kill you. Uh, no. Heal his blindness. So he joins the storm people. The foreigner was cured of his foreigners. Now oh, that's where the foreigner And became Aran's Sanda's protector as they traveled to the camp of the storm people. He said his name was El Mal. Aran Sanda heals many storm people. But then Orlath, reeking of blood and shaking with the madness of the battlefield, makes to attack her. You claim you're one of us, but once more the garb of the enemy. Even worse, you've healed the enemy so he can get back up and fight us again. You shouldn't heal us if you also heal the foe. You should die so we can finish killing them. He, it suggests heal his wounded judgment. Aran Sanda healed a part of her life he didn't even know was hurt. The god's judgment had been wounded. The dead blood of others had mixed with his good blood and made him unclean. Chalana Aroy made him clean again. And then he knew that his new world needed her. He thanked her by making her one of his attendants. After a long time of peace, the unholy trio appear in the world. They caused trouble at Orlan's court, disturbing the people and demanding special privileges. Orlan's brother, Kalat, argues with them, and that God is called Malia, er, uses her terrible gift, the Scar of Disease, to make Kalat unwell. So, do we have El Mal fight Malia while Aran Sanda heals Kalat? Fight Malia, heal Kalat? Without hurting. Mm -hmm. Aran Sanda learned this secret and allowed her to defeat Malia without hurting her and to heal Kalat completely. The unholy trio creates the devil and embroils the world in war. That's what it says. Stormbull decides to kill all of them, starting with his brother, Rocknaglar, who he says is the worst of the betrayers. 
The two of them fight at the Shrieking Falls. Barak wounds Rock Naglar and is ready to deliver the killing blow. Um, Aronsanda throws herself between the two combatants, learn the secret of winning without making the other person lose. Leave the realm of the gods, let him kill Rock Naglar. I can't heal chaos if you destroy it. I love Yeah. She learned the secret, which was also the secret of healing the scar of anger, so she could see to Stormbull. To kill Rognaglar will bring kid strife and make the darkness worse. Orox did not kill Rognaglar that day. As the battle against chaos continues, many are slain. Chalada Roy tries to heal as many of them as she can, which brings her into conflict with Humak, the grim guardian of the thing called death. They argue many times. Then King Hjord is seized and pierced in a hundred places by Fed, third member of the unholy trio. Chalada Roy is about to put him back together, but Kubak stands in her way. Although Hjord was great, and all lot's people need him, anyone may be killed at any time. The line between life and death is what even you should not be allowed to cross. I forbid it. Yeah, under his tongue. She succeeded and learned the secret of looking where you don't expect to find anything. She healed it and then healed King Hjord, who went on to keep people alive when Chalada Roy and the other gods went to Heck to heal Yelm in the world. Our Ansanda returns to the land of mortals, her quest a successful one. Our enemies made peace with us and gave us gifts. Ooh, we did that the first time, too. Okay, we traded nine cattle to the Slapfoot Ducks for 40 bushels of food. They had rows of long houses bursting with food, but no cattle or other animals that we could see. Uh-oh. Brodasar, son of the prosperous Carl Glendara, has been slain in an ambush. Friends who were with him when he was attacked report that the assailants were relatives of Rygarda Dark Eyes of the Kaluski clan. Okay, our Chalana Arroy lady, who's just finished the quest, thinks we should sacrifice to the gods in honor of Brodasart. Oh. According to Brodasart's friends, the killer said to them, Stand aside, our quarrel is only with the family that killed our kinsmen, not with others of the McClary clan. Everyone remembers the incident in which Rangarda stole Glendora's prize stallion, and Glendora's children slew one of Rangarda's sons while retrieving it. We could sacrifice to the gods. Um, our leader suggests composed a poem in honor of Brodasart. Our cow lady thinks we should raid the Paluskis. Our traitor thinks we should either compose a poem, encourage Glendara to swear off vengeance, or sacrifice to the gods. It is Earth season, so raiding might not be the, a good idea. Okay. Yeah. That sounds like a good idea. Hmm. Oh, gosh. Not sure. God of war and death and of all endings, patron of the severest of warriors, each of whom has a list of stringent vows to uphold. Or Orlanth would probably not offend anybody. The people were pleased when the God Talkers reported that the sacrifices had been accepted. 
Okay. Oh! Devotees of the cult of Yinkin, the god of aliens, have an offer to make you. We've noticed the woods around your tour are in... Okay. They were honored and inspected the kittens carefully. A tear fell from the leader's eye. These critters are too beautiful to take from you. We'll perform the ritual and we'll return the kittens to you as a token of our esteem. They then gathered our aliases together in a stead. It was remarkable to see these willful critters following the Yinking cultists as if they'd become sheep. We heard wails and howls coming from the stead and couldn't tell which were made by people and which by cats. Finally, the Yinkin people emerged and said that the ritual was a success. So we've got really cool alien kittens. The harvest was typical this year, however, the sacred time rituals we performed to, for our craft had little effect. Despite the harvest, we won't be able to feed everyone this coming year. We might need an emergency livestock slaughter or food from another clan. Okay, well, let's... Uh, first, let's save because we had that successful quest. And sacrifice to Ronaldo. So we can feed the tribe! Now let's check to see if we need an emergency slaughter. How much food do we have? 700 some odd? Now, okay, our clan leader says we don't have enough horses. Our cow lady says we don't have enough cleared land. Yeah, our trader agrees we don't have enough cropland. Okay. Okay, well, let's... Trying to okay. Seventy one. Okay, we have enough. Okay, we're not getting any hints on how much land we need. We 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 need to clear some more crop land. Yeah. Okay. Well, I increased the cropland to uh, 100. Okay. Well, they haven't changed. Maybe an emergency slaughter. Uh, at least we can check to see if we need one. Now our cow lady says we don't need it. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Sacrifice to Ronaldo it is. Okay. Very good. We got the preserve ritual. So we'll lose less food. Oh, we're being raided by the trolls. There are nine dark trolls. And 144 troll kids, they slip past our patrols. We could raise only 14 weapon things and 70 to the beard in time. We've got plenty of magic though. So you use half of seven magic out of our 13 and then skirmish. Trolls rushed us before we'd fired more than a few volleys. The fighting was fierce, their magic deafened and dazed. We drove the trolls off, and their survivors left without plundering our Tula. And our auxiliaries were able to patch up two of our warriors. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. Bartar would... Some of Bartar's blessings would allow our farmers to work harder. Okay, well, we learned the plow song ritual. Great warriors of the death god who mocked, assemble in your clan hall to make you an offer. The lands around here are rife with the undead. It's our duty to the mock to wipe out wipe out these beings which are anathema to them. Give us permission to rage about your tulas slaughtering the unliving wherever they work. Okay, what does our Kamak guy think? Give permission, give them gifts. They're great warriors, we don't want them angry at us. Well, I'm inclined to go with what our Humaki guy on the clan rings suggests. What do you think? Maybe five cattle, five goods? Okay. They praised us as an honorable clan. They found specters and ghouls everywhere and put it through the sword. We knew our lands were haunted, but had no idea just how much danger our people were in. We were overjoyed that they vanquished the undead on our Tula. Okay. Well, this would probably be a good time to explore and then maybe try another hero quest. Sure. Oh, okay, standing up. It's beautiful splendor bread. Okay, so we'll send out an exploring party. Um, do we want to explore the Tula? I think we explored abroad last time. Endolf's exploration of the Tula is attacked by a group of desperate bandits. Well, at least we know they're not undead bandits. So we'll bluff. And yeah, the bluff worked. Didn't find anything though. Oh well. Yeah. Okay, well, I've got the hints right here. Now, we, we don't want to send our Chilano over Roy Lady and Humak. Yeah, our Humak guy who's on the ring. Apparently would be the best one. Okay, this quest can gain a treasure, bestow Humak's blessing in battle, defend against undead, reconcile the weapon thanes, or strengthen the quester. Oh, uh, oh, it turns out he, our Humak guy is the best one for that also. El Malgard's estate can strengthen our defenses, gain fine horses, strengthen our leaders of the quest, reward against chaos, or reconcile the weapon phase. We could use the horses. Okay. The people have gathered their magic to help propel Saratar into the realm of the gods with the assistance of 20 Nari. Saratar isn't a devotee of Alba, other people hope he will succeed anyway. When this myth begins, Orlance is about to embark on a great quest to repair a world shattered by chaos. He leaves his loyal thane, Elmal, to defend the stead of the Storm Tribe. What benefit do you seek from this hero quest? And we couldn't enter the realm of the gods. The emissaries of the Orobarthi recently proposed an alliance with the Karandoli clan. We should remember the possible advantages of sending emissaries to our neighbors. Well, we had the omens about... 
Yeah, the Carls are in a good mood of late. One of their elders, Garneva, believes she is close to discovering the secret lineage of Uralda and the other herd mothers. Oh, good. But we need to... Maybe we should check the possible candidates and see if we have any El Mall followers. Okay, let's... Okay. Well, there's no Amal followers there. We might not have an Amal person. Okay. I mean, it would be nice to get more horses, but... Yeah. Okay. Horses, and we couldn't enter the realm of the gods. So I think we better do Humak the champion after all. Oh, oh, excuse me, that wild bruise. Oh, let's see. Either a treasure or... I don't know, I actually got pretty decent fortifications. Maybe a treasure. Okay, and... Our... What the devil? I thought I picked who mocked the champion. I wasn't trying to. Yeah. Well, now we definitely know you can't get in with a Sarotar. Okay, well, let's try that again. Okay, we got the mod. Oh, but I didn't click on the stupid thing. Okay, let's try the mod. The people have gathered their magic to help propel Sarotar into the place of the gods, and the Lunar refused her request for assistance. This myth begins with Humak's discovery of the thing called death. In order to properly command this dangerous new power, Humak severs his kin ties and ceases to be Orlan's brother. Orlan com comes and demands that Humak give him the death weapon. But Humak refuses until Orlan pays him proper respect and finds a new place for him in Orlan's society. What benefit does Saratar seek from this hero quest? Yeah, we're we'll gonna. And Saratar couldn't get in. Well, it's probably because we didn't have any Nari helping this time. <laughs> Maybe it was a good year for a hero quest? Should we try the Nari again? Like a treasure, unable to enter the place of the gods. He might be our only Humakti, though. Okay. Okay. I think he is our only Humakti. Okay, we'll give it one last time. And if that doesn't work, we might try something else in the next episode. Oh, well, we got 20 Nari this time. And we still weren't able to enter the place of God.
Well, I think in the next episode we'll restore the game and maybe try something different. But we will see you then.